In this exercise, we're going to be creating lofts. To me, lofts is probably the second most enjoyable of all the commands. I've said before, fillet is my favorite, and I don't understand why myself. I know it's a nerd thing, but fillets are fun, but lofts to me are just amazing how easy it is to create such a complex model. To start out with, you need two unconsumed sketches. We activate the loft command. Left to right, top to bottom, so it's asking us to add. We say we want to add this sketch, and then we want to add this sketch. You can see right away, we get our basic shape. It's that simple. We can add conditions to it. And what that means is you can see here, kind of weighted out, and kind of gives us like more of a little bit of a curvature as it goes in. Whereas this one, the way I see it is it kind of adds the round to the square and the square to the round, so to speak. So it's kind of constraining it. There you go. You can see what it looks like if you just do the curvature at the bottom there. So it kind of sucks it in on this one. And this one, it kind of flumps it out. So they kind of counteract each other. So you probably wouldn't want to do both of them. You see this kind of shape a lot in HVAC units. You know, different types of air handling where you're going from a square to round. Sometimes in some specialized plumbing type things where you'll be going to like a square trough to a round pipe. See a square to round. But you can also use it for a million other things, consumer parts and things like that. The other option you have with loft. I just picked two squares there. It doesn't really matter, I guess. And I could say a rail. What this will allow you to do is create this nice architecture rounded shape. This gives us a very pretty or artistic type shape that we could add in some kind of architecture type work. If we were doing some kind of creative signage or something like that, you can get some very wild and crazy shapes out of this. I could actually add a twist to this as well so that it would twist as it goes along this arc if I wanted to. There's a couple different things I could do with this so that It'll follow, you know, either the edge rail or the center line or whatever it may be. So we get this. Now, if you're thinking, oh, this would be great for HVAC, don't use this loft for creating sheet metal lofts. There is a sheet metal loft command that'll actually do a lofted flange that you can unfold in the sheet metal environment. Due to time, I'm not going to cover it in this course, but if you do want to create something you want to unfold, use the sheet metal loft. It works basically the same way. It just adds a hole to it so that it can unfold and it'll do just the thickness of the sheet metal instead of doing a solid. Once we do this here, it's a solid part. We could shell it out or whatever, but in the sheet metal environment, if we undo here and convert it over to sheet metal, and we could say, make this a lofted flange. You could see there how it's wanting to give us that lofted flange look. So now you can unfold this using the sheet metal. The other option you have with the lofts is it doesn't necessarily just have to be two profiles. And go from a six-sided polygon to a ten-sided to a round back to a six-sided and get this very interesting shape. See here Inventor's trying to smooth it out because it's round here and has sharp edges here. It also has a different number of edges, so it's trying to figure out how to bring in those extra two edges. You know, it did an okay job. I don't think it did a great job by splitting those two down the center to give the 10 edges, but it's okay. You know, it's a different look, and you can get some pretty interesting looking shapes out of this. So play with this, see what you can do. If you need to edit a loft, just right click and say edit feature, just like we've always been able to do. And we can still edit our conditions and our transitions and things like that. And we can say, hey, we want this to be a closed loop. That would be if you're going to loft it back to itself. I don't think this one will actually loft all the way back to itself, no. We can also say merge tangent faces where it's going to try to select our tangencies for us. You can see there. It doesn't really have a whole lot of effect on this part. But you can get creative, play with it, and have some fun with the loft command.